Alrighty, I have decided to immediately record this one after the last one, so I don't forget what the hell with, is going on with Pisa. I keep checking this, I'm a little bit nervous, like I want this to be done. Let's put him in the oubliette, that might, might help this whole death thing here. There's still a bunch of people. Trying to kill me. Which I am not a big fan of. So let's see what they have to say about my direct request for them to stop trying to kill me. If they come with 13,000 troops, I have uh, great hopes that they will just try to jump my retinue, which is standing around here. So we can just reinforce them with our levies, with our personal levies, which would be quite fantastic. And our money printing machinery is being upgraded as we wait for war to conclude or well, at least progress and there the fleet comes 160 pigeon ships sailing toward gotland ready to strike at a moment's notice goodness another son and he'll be uh, faith doesn't doesn't hurt let's get him something too i don't like the club footed ones all right okay so he's very confident that he can win this battle because he's bringing up to thirteen thousand against just six thousand which is a laughable number it's nothing it truly is nothing however uh, do I see when the movement is locked in? I don't see that. So let's just assume he's not going to stop. Nope, he stopped his little attempt. Once he saw our troops. But I'm not scared like he is. And away the fleet goes. They're discouraged from our little ploy here. And they will probably come here and try and retake this. It's all alright. Then we'll move on over here. Who's the oldest? You. Bye. Oh no. Oh no, she took my son. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Now I need another heir. Oh no. Oh goodness me. Oh no. Not, not ideal. He's frail. We just sent away the strong one. Let's, let's bring her back. <laughs> let's bring Saga back. Let's bring her back. Oh, thank you, Saga, for jo joining us again so I can have my actual heir be my actual heir. <laughs> what a silly goose we are, aren't we? And I messed this up here. Now the pigeons are going to do whatever pigeons do when they are upset that they can't do what pigeons do. We'll just have to keep fighting here. And keep a little bit of an eye on the on things. You know how we could help? How we could help this situation here with who is this? Estonia? Can't send them against Estonia. Okay, sorry. No help from me then. But you know who will get help? Our trade posts. Those get all the help they need. Do die. Do it. Well, there's another garrison to build. A merchant port to build. Another enclave to build. More garrisons. 
enclave fort garrison fort fort no uh i mean yeah why not this <laughs> Mm -hmm. That looks good. All things are set in motion again. Our plan to kill this man is set in motion. Might give rise to another house. Feeding a realm has been added to our treasury and we gain 100 prestige. Let's see what feeding a realm does. Ah, yes. Plus three monthly wealth. Thank you very much. This is one of my favorite books in the world because that's just a flat three gold on top of everything. Just just for having a book. Fantastic. All right, that was another family done. The stuff got rearranged a little bit. Take out this family too. Or that dude anyway. Check who tries to kill us. Still a bunch. She, she hates us to the absolute core of her being. So much so that she plots our death and yet when we tell her to her face to stop plotting our death, she accepts. Speaking of she accepts, right now we are facing overwhelming numbers here. And they are probably going to win. What we could do is we could try and bring in the Venetian troops, but they are too far. I don't think they would arrive in time and they are also too few to really do something about this. Okay, who do we need to break up with? Or she doesn't have any kids of ours yet. We can ask her to leave the court. We'll bring our ships around to here. We raise our Venetian troops. And we combine those two armies. We have something that is capable of sieging again. And I think they might be walking them north now. Like literally walking them because the AI is kind of frazzled with stuff like this. I don't fully know where to go, but they know they want our blood. I like piranhas. Not building anything here. Not building anything here. Not building anything here. Not building anything here. We're looking for all the zeros where we're not building anything. Or anything below six. Because the sixes are the ones that are pretty much fully upgraded. There's still a Pigeon army running around here. I do not have the men take it out. We'll have to see what they do once we arrive on the field of battle again. Maybe they come, maybe they don't. See? Speaking of waiting and seeing... Okay, one of our lovers has broken up with us over all that guilt, that sweet, sweet guilt. So how you would really do the naval bait and switch that I tried earlier and fail that is just let them attack you. Your troops spawn with full morale anyway. So it's, it's a no brainer. Just allow the battle to commence and then raise your troops so you don't spook the enemy out of attacking you. Can you hear 
that sound? Oh no. Can we escape onto the ship? Nope. All right then, let's hope our commanders are better than his. Still a vast number superiority. And our good flank already broke. We might get one of his flanks, but it's unlikely we get two. Yeah. Didn't work out. All right, we need a new plan then. Need a new plan. How many troops do you have right now? Six thousand. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Let's send all these down here. And that should be that. Okay. A new house has risen. Good, there's now two houses which can build more trade posts. That's good. Very good. That's some host. Don't need to worry about that. Or that I will not worry about that. He can walk up and down the coast as he wishes. May do as he pleases. Um, hmm. Yeah, this. Better for you. So he's sieging his own stuff back. But that makes it easier for us to attack him. Build a host doing host stuff. I don't think there is a fleet coming anymore. Well, there is hours. Let's spend some more money. We make more. The way we're cycling through these real quick is we're pressing N. N for next. Or Nevermore. Or Norbert. Much money you have. Still a bit. Alright. All of that is sensible. It would be kind of cool if our commanders sort of had a form of decreased morale or increased morale upon being recently beaten or having won. That would be interesting as a mechanic, maybe. Might be too much micromanagement in the end, but who knows. Ah, there we go. Hello, friends. Let us show these pigeons what the Finnish can do. And what the Finnish can do is some magic you will see now. Just watch as we crush them into dust. Grinding up their bones into nothingness. I am confident about this battle because we just have so much more numbers and technologically speaking we're pretty far ahead of a lot of other countries here. Like we can check for infantry, we are probably the whitest spot in the world so our infantry is the best infantry in the world due to how technologically advanced we are. Doesn't go for skirmish techniques. Not so much from melee techniques, though we could easily upgrade this. Siege equipment, we're definitely not ahead of the curve there. We could even do some more military organization. More retinues, more, more morale. But honestly, I'd rather throw more at this, because morale of everyone and defense of everyone is just crazy good. And we're close anyway, though melee techniques is also kinda interesting, but it's just heavy infantry attack. It's okay that attack is split, but also it kinda annoys me. So I'd rather go for morale, because morale is, is life. The most direct sense 
on the word. Okay, he has gotten himself a foreigner as wife. Good, good, good thing. Enjoy. Let's check out where Pisa is with his troops. There they come. Let us go meet them. Embrace our brothers. Our merchant friends. Let us show them. A taste of Finnish hospitality. I'm sure they will appreciate it in time. Right. Uh, someone else is sieging there already. But this, this island is now all up for grabs. Is this trade pool still taken by someone else? I don't get this. Are they at war with them? Yep. Yeah. Probably put our ships over there, but then I wouldn't see all this, so I'd rather leave them there. Speaking of ships, we have way too many here. This is way too few. See, can we split this more into a sensible size? This is perfect. And we'll leave these, and these we stand down. And these we stand down. The 29 we just leave as a... As a sort of lookout. With the money rolling in as it does, we don't even care if we lose a ship or two here and there. See? Look at that. Yeah, brave. How many troops you got left? 3,000. We just don't know where they are. How close are we? 57 still. I can taste it already. A taste of finishing this... Monarch's journey up. We don't want them to retake this. They might, but we would want them to pay the price for it. Hello, hello. Like we're joining someone else, battling them. And victory was had. Are we sieging? Maybe. Might be we're sieging for someone else. I don't want to risk this because their army was there first. You want to convert to Christianity? Let's have a non-aggression pact to help you there. You're so close to us. You're like family in, in the hinterlands. Oh no. Oh no, matters of life and death. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Summon the council. And the conversion is complete over there. He might ask us for more stuff. Okay, I don't want to use the martial skill here. Wait. Okay, I would rather not make any decision on my own. Let's, let's have the council talk about it. Cover more ground. Because following the martial tree through the quest for immortality is going to end you up with a clone, basically. And that's just really weird. I'd rather do it like this. Oh, our air is done. Which is good, so now we can prop him up to totally win this thing. And we'll set him up nicely. Nice and comfortable. No one will even come close to touching that boy. 
Got married. And you... What are you good at? For learning, then. What did you turn out to be, anyway? You're not my heir. I guess you are my heir. Now, he's a tough soldier. Wait, is he my heir? No. What? He, Nicholas, he's my heir. And you're good at what, Marshall? I don't really have the... Uh, that's fine. And we keep lies, lying to our wife. We've done this for centuries now. At least that's what it feels like. Come on, people. Build your trade posts. You can it. You, you can do it. I will even give you all the money I have. To help you jumpstart it. He built one. Let's just pump them full of gold. I know you don't like us better for it. Uh, we need you to build trade posts. Build all of them. Be good boys. Help me get this done. Because this Pisa war is taking much longer than anticipated. <laughs> Due to my own fault, obviously, but still. Really wonder where his 3000 went. Where are these troops, my friend? Where are they? Where are you hiding them, huh? Where are you hiding them? No, you can't run off. Okay, so the council didn't really figure it out, so all good. No quest for immortality for us. It's fine. It's one of those things where I think I'm never going to get this in this game. I will never be an immortal character. Our wife would be so perfect for this. And I think that is also how we're going to get rid of her. Go and study technology in Byzantium. You might just get lost there. Oh look! There! 200 pigeon troops. Which kind of sounds like pigeons when I say it, but I mean pigeons. I don't know how often I can say pigeons without it becoming a weird sound in my head. Probably 50 times more. Right. Why are you good at this? Dear wife, please be bad at the job I assigned you. Signed, your loving, cheating, pig of a husband. I like this little green minty piece of Egypt up there. I find it very enjoyable. Well, Prince of Hungary, you can have her. I don't mind. Go away, I don't want to join your society. I'm already having a hard enough time to survive as it is. Has anyone built more trade posts? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're building four now. They're building two more. We just need to give them more money. They will eventually start building more stuff. You can have more money too. You guys are done with sieging? I'm really looking forward to ending this. Not because it feels like a slog, which some of the monarch's journeys did after some time, but rather because 
this feels a bit like an accomplishment. I've never really played a, re a trade republic. So doing a monarch's journey as such makes it a little bit special. Take care of these guys. And on these guys down here. We need three more. And we might just get them when he's done building his. Might just do the trick. So let us go out in style and upgrade more trade posts. I did also learn a lot about playing these publics, that is. And that I really like. That makes me happy. That makes me quite happy. Give you some decent commanders. People actually know what they're doing to a degree. And let's watch us melt this rebellion here. I mean, we're going to be reinforced as well, but. Yeah. Not, a, not much of a question, is it? More, more troops here. Stop this war. And at this point, I think we just need to kind of wait. We're at 58. Give them a new church, why not? Our grand port is done. We should be at 59 now. As you can see, his building projects are done and he is building a second one so we're almost done but once i'm going to speed up because we're literally just waiting now so if you're kind of the person who doesn't want to watch all of this and only watches this last episode which is probably going to be this last episode um you can increase your own trade pulse within the realm by just you keep killing off the families that way the trade posts get redistributed, you are going to accumulate a whole bunch above your limit, which is fine. Because there's no penalty to it. And then the other ones are just going to build up, and then you keep redistributing, and then that helps. But you might have to give them some jumpstart money to start going. And you can also seize trade posts. Oh no. We are being killed right now. <laughs> there was nothing I could have done about this. But that's fine. Vicious circumstances, no doubt. It's fine insofar that we do have our dear, young, very young, strong son to follow in our footsteps. And he will pick the war focus because he is a warlike person. Uh, so let us, from the minor title, select ourselves a new heir. One of our brothers. This half brother, maybe. Or we go with this brawny boy here. He's a little bit further away from coming of age, but that's okay. I judge doesn't really matter anymore to me. I'll just give these title outs like candy. So our steward will be the guy who loves us or the guy who's worthwhile. Guy who's worthwhile. But our spy master can be something who likes us somewhat. Go collect taxes and everyone else just does what they do. 
We need an ambition and we would like to groom an heir. That's no question. Our brother is all just fine and dandy, but we want a little bit more out of life. You go with this. We set our crown focus here. I'm, I'm doing all these things as if this is going to last much longer. That isn't. Okay, Pisa has a new guy. We will conserve the relics. Everyone wants to marry someone. My mother. Yeah, she's good. Have her. I don't care. Um, no, no, thank you. Our mother just died. Right after we promised her to someone. There we go. Congratulations, word has spread far and wide. So we have trading cities now done, which concludes our monarch's journey with Grand Domea Bossane of Gotland. And as we do, as is tradition, we will quick save real quick here. We'll click on this so we can see that everything is unlocked. We have all the things that are unlockable already. We're popping out here. But let us resign and have a real quick retrospective there 70,000 it's not too shabby so we started out with Mayor Botstein of Gotland ruling for 65 years he lived very long he he ruled late into his 80s being followed by Grand Mayor Botstein II who was his grandson but he didn't live very long um, ruled only for 12 years which then led to his uncle his son inheriting ruling also only for a very short six years abstaining then uh, i think or rather abdicating then to his son i believe who then ruled for a, a acceptable 18 years followed by prince mayor anna the lecher ruled for 26 years which is a solid number obviously all of them are being outshined by grand mayor botstein the first anyway and then comes Prince Georg, the monk who, in his zealous fervor, formed the Principality of Finland. He ruled for 37 years as a man of his caliber would. And he sadly died of natural causes before his time, otherwise he probably would have made it just as long as his forefathers. Uh, he was then followed by his... I think it was his grandson or his son. I'm not entirely sure anymore. Prince Ragnar for 18 years of rulership. And then he was killed as we just saw. And he was su succeeded by Prince Nicholas I of Finland. Who only ruled for a whole three months until we were done with all of this. So thank you very much for coming along. I hope you're having a great lovely time despite all the things going on in the world. And I hope you stick around, watch other stuff. I don't know when this video comes out. Probably by a time where Crusader Kings 3 is already out. And there might be the first video of that on here. So if you're interested, go check it out. Either way, see you around. Enjoy. Bye bye.